I am going to give you a real quick review of the RK9 Black Dog um, Bark Collar. Um, the whole thing came um, in different pieces in this little box with this nifty little tester. I've never actually gotten a tester with a bark collar before, before so I really like it because it kind of shows you what it does. Um, it's pretty standard setup as far as a bark collar goes. You've got the prongs that go against the throat. It connects like a collar. And then you've got your sensitivity setting. Um, uh, it has a couple features that I really like. One, it gives a warning beep before it shocks the dog. Uh, if you have a really stupid dog and you have a regular old bark collar on there and every time they bark they get shocked, they won't necessarily make the connection. Um, even more intelligent dogs sometimes will, you know, take a while to figure it out. But I like that this is, you know, it specifically says or tells the dog what's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it does. The, the prongs, when they feel vibration, um, they'll send out a warning beep like this. So it's just letting the dog know that it's going to get shocked. It does two warning beeps, and that's then after that, if the dog's still barking, it starts to shock the dog. So if you'll notice, the beep got louder and longer, and then there was a little, you could tell in the little light bulb lit up, there's a little teeny shock. Um, it, after the two warning beeps, the shocks and the beeps get progressively louder and, and harder. Um, so it'll go till it shocks your dog eight times and then it will restart because it doesn't want to, you know, they don't want to damage your dog. They just want to send a message that it shouldn't be barking. Uh, other than the sensitivity aspect, the only other complaint I have is that I think it gets a little bit intense. Uh, our dog is granted she's very pampered and she's not used to any form of uh, physical discomfort but by the time it got to the fifth shock uh, it actually made her cry and and it startled her enough or hurt her enough that she actually jumped over the couch so I think if you had a substantially smaller dog or a dog that didn't have so much extra skin on their neck that it could be pretty dang intense and could hurt them um, maybe not damage them, but it would definitely send a very clear message. So I guess if you're wanting something intense and fast to get results really quick, this is a, a really good option. If you're wanting something a little bit more mild that just kind of gives them the little buzz shock, then this is not the collar for you. Um, again, we've been really impressed. It has made a difference, but I think it's because it did make such an impact that very first time she wore it that she hears the beep and she gets kind of nervous. As a matter of fact, she's not even in the room because she just heard it beep and she left the room. She didn't want to be in here with the with the beeping. So it, it obviously is making a difference. It is uh, impacting the way she's thinking about it. Our backyard has a big fence along the edge of it, and a chain link fence, and she likes to scare the neighbors as they walk past, and it has definitely made a difference. So I, I, would, I would recommend it for a larger dog. I don't think you should put it on a Pomeranian. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you found the review helpful, please uh, like and follow, and I'll try to keep them uh, sweet and simple and just straight to the point. And thank you very much.